Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I decided to try to do a commentary. Since it's not always clear in a Shogun video is why I made a certain decision, what actually goes on in the background, and how certain decisions can influence later parts, I will be using the last Shogun run I just did to explain these things. So in this video, I'll be using a couple of shorthand terms. BS means Blade Store and Ramp means Reflex EMP. The first thing I need to explain is Shogun's main weapon cycle. In one cycle, there are four shots, I'll refer to them as slashes. And in between the four slashes, there is a short delay of about 0.45 seconds, and then after the fourth slash, a long delay of about one second. This means that it is necessary to perform the first few acts exactly according to a plan using the exact amount of slashes in any given wave. This is to minimize the uh, amount of long delays occurring in the middle of a wave. Ideally, these long delays should occur during wave or act transitions. In some mission, it's necessary to stick to the plan all the way up to as far as act 3-4 uh, or even a bit into early act 4. But in this case, we will need to go do that until 2-1. And now let's get into the run. So starting up 1-1. One, one. I'll be playing the video at half speed to make it easy to pause. So 1-1. One, one. Four sparrows in a horizontal line. Normally this would take four slashes to kill. Or three if you're lucky. But either way it's too slow so definitely ramp this one. Now I'm going to 1-2. Okay. So this 2x2 two two, normally the fastest way to take it out would be to take two slashes, one and then two. But because of main weapon uh, cycle management, we have to do this with three. I'll explain why later on. So here, one, two, three. At this point, make sure the energy you get just exactly the bare minimum energy required to activate Blade Storm. Going into one tree, so with that, Blade Storm and it will use up one main weapon slash, so four. And now the main weapon goes on cooldown as we go into one four. For one four, we will be using Blade Storm and then two mains to clear up. One, two, so two main weapon. If we hadn't let the main weapon cool down during transition from one three to one four. It would have resulted in the long delay in the middle of 1 4, and there's just too much time loss. So, now going into Act 2. Before we start, remember in 1 4, I used two main slashes 1 and 2. So, now going into 2 1, I ramp this, and then 3 4. Perfect time to go into cooldown right here, and then for the rest of Act to just graze and grab energy as quickly as possible and BS. And right, we're done. Now, Act 3. Ramp and then one main slash, which would definitely go to the Raven, clears the wave immediately. Here, there should be no problems with energy. One. So just BS and then main and definitely goes down. Likewise, 3-3, three, three, main, BS, definitely goes down. But just backtrack a bit. Here, definitely try to graze as much as possible. You need a lot of energy for the next wave. But I couldn't really get much there. So two her two herons and then four sparrows way in the back. What I should be doing here is to do two main slashes first, hope they both land on Heron, and then BS. But I made a bit of a mistake. So take a look here. One, and then BS3. Too, too fast. So the net result is this leftover sparrow after a long delay. Now, Act 4. Ramp here because 4 2 isn't really that much better for ramping. Well, 4 3 is pretty good for ramp. So the idea here is to ramp 4 1, give ramp time to cool down in 4 2, and then ramp again in 4 3. So here in 4 1, ramp, BS, grab energy. 
for two. First, BS to take just BS the front ravens to take them down. Then I can move up to try to BS the Herald. But I didn't quite get enough energy and also maybe because of movement, so I couldn't really get the other Heron. So yeah, long delay. So not ideal. Now 4-3. So simple. Ram BS clear. But a bit of bad luck. Long delay. Not much I could really do about that because by this point the main cycle is out of my control. So I just have to follow that under bad luck. And since we just used the ram going to 4-4, I have to main down the front. With enough energy, it's quick and easy. And here for the voucher, just graze and PS. Till done. And finally, Act 5. Way too many sparrows here. You see? So, definitely have to ramp this. this too, it takes too much BS to take this down efficiently. So, frame by frame. Okay, so as you can see, the maximum radius of ramp it's actually not able to get all of the spells. The corners will definitely be missed. So I need to follow this up with a PS to clear it out quickly. So PS. And now get down and just PS these heroes. Now over here, this is actually quite bad. Luck. The, the heron moving to the middle actually usually would kill me. But in this case, I was lucky. I was able to get through the shurikens and then into the safe zone in the middle here and then after that uh, graze bs and into 5-3 this one because of the positioning from 5-2 i have to make sure the ramp here is really well tied i need to make sure it happens before this dart spreader over here can fire otherwise it would likely kill me so Ramped, activated, and then ramp with an immediate main slash kills that one, and then now I'm safe. Stay in the bottom middle such that these four turrets will immediately fire without the need to turn. So, what this does is it sets up a guaranteed safe zone over here. So, I get in here, graze, BS, and then Move up and left again into here, this safe zone. And BS. And now escape all the way to the left side, get outside of the range of the boomerangs. And then go through this horizontal gap to escape to the other side. So usually the Murph launches should be dead here, but it's not a really big deal. It's still a fairly safe transition into 5 4 no matter what. So 5-4, this is the very problematic wave. Okay, slowly coming in. Okay. Coming to this wave, normally the intuitive thing would be to be sit around here, ramp, and then BS, grab the energy, and then come back down. But the problem with this particular condor is that if you do that, these bloomers will already have fired, and they are really far down. So, if you did that, you came back down, you would trigger the Merv, the Merv's will already have fired, you would trigger them on the way, and when you get to the bottom, it's just way too many bullets to deal with. And not to mention the fact that you likely wouldn't be able to have killed either Bloomer, and so, after the first wave, you get a, another wave of double Bloomers. And let's not forget, T4 Boomerangs at the same time. In that situation, there's just way too many bullets, and you don't have ramp on hand for survival anymore because you just used it up top. So, instead, what I did have to do instead was start directly in front of one of the bloomers. Like, really, really close. You have to sit, your core has to sit on the rim of the bloomer. It's still a safe zone, you won't collide with the bloomer. And so, B 
BS. Now, so you can see it has the turret has been killed. You must kill this turret before it fires the second wave. If you don't, if it's not dead by now, the run is already over. So after that, back off a bit to here, around here. Make sure you watch out for the boomerangs, and then ramp for safety. Now, while we were doing that just now, let's back up a little bit. You need to make sure that all the double lasers are focused on you already. If not, you have to try to move a bit and to make sure that happens. And then, while the lasers are firing, the only safe direction is to move. The only safe direction you can try to dodge is to move downwards because this will require the least amount of rotation from them. But admittedly, it's still a bit luck based. There's a chance that the movement of the raven could make it such that they can't rotate fast enough to keep up with focusing on your core and then you will still die. So, uh, roll of the dice there. Survive the lasers and then from here, watch out for boomerangs and then the mouths. And since you also managed to grab energy, you can PS again. So let's play. PS, dodge bullets. Now, here's the other important point to this fight. You must have taken down the bloomer here at this point. But your own, you can only handle up to a second wave of murphs. If that a third wave manages to fire, you will not be able to move up to clear the ravens afterwards fast enough. So let's continue. Okay, so no bloomers, we're all good. BS again, kill the condo, get up, continue BSing the ravens, and clear. We are safe. And with that, thank you everyone for watching this video. Goodbye.